Hi, I'm Elizabeth Laboa. I'm Dean of the University of Missouri College of Engineering. I have been fortunate and honored to serve in this role since October of 2015 when I joined MU College of Engineering, recognizing that there's so much potential for greatness in this college. I really look forward to sharing with you what we have done in the ensuing years. We created our strategic plan based on four pillars of pursuit. One, educating engineering leaders. Two, big data analytics. Three, biomedical innovations. And four, sustainability in food, energy, water, and smart cities. We came up with those four pillars of pursuit based on both the strengths of the college, of MU as a whole, and where we see the future for how we need to train our engineers for the grand challenges that are facing our planet. So the first pillar, educating engineering leaders. So our primary pillar in the context of our education of our students is not just to train stellar engineers, but to train engineers who will go on and truly become engineering leaders in their fields and help drive the new technology and innovation that we know we will, uh, we will see as we move into the future. Why big data analytics, our second pillar of pursuit? Well, of course, everybody's heard about big data, the, the amount of information, whether you're looking at imaging data or whether you're looking at uh, the, what we see on the World Wide Web. But what really needs to happen now is the analysis of that big data. How do we analyze terabytes of, of information that are coming at us to truly solve major challenges. We are the only university in the country to have engineering, medicine, veterinary medicine, and a nuclear research reactor on the same campus. And we have the only NIH-funded swine center of any university in the country. So what does that mean? That means we can truly translate the technologies we are developing in the College of Engineering in collaboration with the School of Medicine and the School of Veterinary Medicine and come up with innovative new biomedical cures to address challenges with cancer, with neural disease, with vascular problems. And that's what we're focusing on in our biomedical innovations. And then of course, sustainability in food, energy, water, and smart cities. So in addition, I, as we have the School of Medicine and, and uh, the College of Veterinary Medicine on campus, we also have an incredibly strong College of Agriculture, Food, and Natural Resources. And so we look how we can partner with these other colleges on our campus to address some of the most pressing needs that are going to be facing not just our, our state and our country, but our world. So the strategic plan does not just focus on how are we training our engineers in the traditional disciplines, but how do they actually take that knowledge that they have learned in their courses and truly solve global challenges that they are going to be faced with when they graduate. Well, we did have a really tough budget situation in the last two and a half, three years. Uh, I'll say that the College of Engineering addressed this very proactively. So almost immediately upon my joining as Dean, we did an efficiency and efficacy analysis of the college. We also were very fortunate, and I know I would probably be rare to, to be someone who says that we're fortunate to have this done, but we had an internal audit done, which I was very thankful for, to get all of that data and information that we were then able to use to proactively uh, look at how we could change any process in the college to frankly run more lean. We centralized HR, we centralized all of our fiscal, and centralized all of our administrative uh, duties within the College of Engineering. This both led to fiscal efficiencies and to uh, decrease cost, but also allowed us to move forward now because we did this so proactively we are now able to go, move forward and look at how can we focus on revenue generation, how can we focus on growth of the college. Uh, so the other component that I think was really critical in how we handled the budget situation was being very open and transparent. Uh, the college runs on a completely open books approach, so every faculty and staff knows that they can come in and see exactly where we stand at any time. Um, I and uh, my chief uh, fiscal officer, we held a lot of open forums to meet with the faculty, staff, and students about the status of our budget situation. And I'm very thankful and, and because of the hard work of all of our faculty, staff, and students coming together, we now are at a point that we uh, can continue to focus on growth 
and how we can become even stronger going forward. So it was a tough situation, but I think we uh, handled it very well and the future looks uh, very bright for us. The new faculty hires have been critical to helping us reach the goals that we have, not just for today, but for the future. And to be fully honest, we need to hire even more faculty. When I came, we had an almost 40 to 1 student to faculty ratio. And for those who, who know some of the, the metrics of being members of the AAU, typically the student faculty ratio is much lower, about 20 to 1. And the reason you try and maintain a 20 to 1 student to faculty ratio is both to make sure that your students are getting the very best experiential education and learning opportunities, and that your faculty can do both incredible teaching, but also incredible research, because that is really what also sets us apart as a Research One AAU University. So we have brought in some incredible faculty in the areas of big data analytics, biomedical innovations, and sustainability in food, energy, water, and smart cities. And they have hit the ground running, working with our already, uh, the current faculty that we had who were so incredible in those fields, both at the state uh, and national level, but also frankly at the global level with the research that's coming out of the college. Uh, the renovations have been just critical to, to the college and have been of uh, such immense benefit. So it's really modernized our lab space that uh, was, so, was so needed and is improving and growing our cutting edge research. Uh, we've got really fantastic student spaces, study uh, and learning labs. We have a new 3D printing and rapid prototyping labs, a number of Mac labs. And the, the community spaces for the students have also significantly grown. And I, it's fantastic to walk through Laffery and the, we have these uh, study rooms that you can see all along the hallways packed to the gills every single time you walk by with the students coming together and, uh, and, and getting their work done. We also have some um, really great additions that we've done from the research perspective. The labs are, are much improved and while we continue to grow, so uh, as wonderful as a new space is, it's actually not enough for what we're going to do as we continue to move forward, but it is such an incredible step in the right direction and it's been absolutely fantastic. So we're also offering a new academic program for our students, which we are very excited about. The biomedical engineering degree is now being offered out of our College of Engineering. We are the first public university in the state to offer this degree. Uh, we expect that this will provide even uh, greater opportunities for our students who want to go into the biomedical field. In addition, we are growing our online curriculum so that students can uh, obviously, of course, take their courses here as, as the vast majority of our students do, but also students who are lifelong learners or maybe uh, they're in rural communities and, and they might uh, have a harder time coming to Mizzou physically on, a, on a, a regular basis. They have the opportunity to take our courses as well. So stay tuned for a great um, increase in the number of online courses that we're offering as well. The Translational Precision Medicine Complex, or the TPMC as we call it for short, is critical for this College of Engineering to really advance in a way that, frankly, I don't think any other College of Engineering can because of the strengths that we have at Mizzou and because of the strengths that we have in this college, in particular in the big data analytics space with bioinformatics and what we can apply to the precision medicine realm. The translational precision medicine complex is key to really uh, the future of the College of Engineering and addresses both our big data analytics and our biomedical innovations focus. Thank you for taking the time to listen to the state of the college. We have had an incredible almost three years that uh, I've been here and I've been honored to be in this position. We have done some great things, but you cannot believe what's about to come. And I am uh, very excited to be able to share with you what we accomplish in the future as well. Thank you.